This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I create an organic hole with Dynamesh? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a polysphere here loaded in. And this polysphere has Dynamesh active with a resolution of 64. So I'm just going to first come through and just carve out some on the surface here using the clay buildup brush. So I'm going to increase my draw size here. I'm just going to hold down Alt and then just generate a shape like so. And I'm going to hold Shift and smooth this out. So now I'm left with this kind of shape on my model here. So let's say this is our Dynameshed model here. And now we want to come through and create a hole from one side of this model to the other side over here. So how can we go by doing that inside of ZBrush? So I'm going to show you two processes you can use to do this inside of ZBrush here. The first process I'm going to show is using the Curve Bridge Brush. So I'm first going to come through and create two holes on my model here. To do this, I'm going to first mask out an area like so. And I have symmetry on, so it's also masking the other side. And then I'm going to take this mask and turn it into a new polygroup by hitting Control plus W. And if I turn my polyframes on here, you can see that area that was masked is now a new polygroup. Now I'm going to hide that polygrouped area. So I'm going to hold Control and Shift and click, and then click again, and that will hide that polygroup on my model. So I'm left with this appearance of this hole being generated. Now I need to delete that hidden area. So I'm going to go to the Tool tab, I'm going to go to the Geometry area, go to Modify Topology, and now I'm just going to click Delete Hidden. So now I have a hole that has been created in two areas on my model. So now that I have these holes, I just need to now come up to the brush palette up here and select the Curve Bridge Brush. Now with this brush selected, I want to make sure at this time that I have Symmetry turned off. So I'm just going to press X on my keyboard to disable Symmetry. And I'm going to come across one of these holes here. I'm going to start dragging out with this brush, and then I'm going to hold down Shift. And this should snap to the edges of that hole there. So you can see I have this whole edge here now with a curve going around that edge. I'm going to repeat the process on the other side. So drag it out and then hold down Shift to snap to that other edge. And now when I release this time, it's going to take that curve from the one side and bridge it to the curve on the other side. So you can see now I have created a surface in between those two holes. So now I can clear my mask and redynamesh the model there. And if I turn off my polyframes here, you can see that now I have a hole punched through my Dynamesh model. So now you can come through and sculpt on this to generate any kind of designs you want. So that process again is first mask out any areas on your model where you want to generate the hole through. And this doesn't have to be done in a symmetrical fashion, so I can mask on this front part here. And then say up here I want to generate that kind of hole. I'm going to hit Control w to give those areas a new polygroup. I'm going to isolate and then hide those areas using Control plus Shift. Then I'm going to the Geometry tab again, doing that Delete Hidden. I'm going to make sure I have that Curve Bridge Brush selected. Drag it out, hold down Shift to select one of those open holes. Drag it out, hold down Shift to select that second hole. And then when you release, it's going to bridge those two holes. I can clear my mask and redynamesh. And now I can sculpt around those areas. So that is the first option you can use. So using the Curve Bridge option to generate two holes on your model and then bridge between those two surfaces. Another way you can punch holes in your model is using insert meshes. So if I come back up here to the brush palette, I'm going to locate the insert cylinder object here. Now normally when you use an insert mesh, you just drag it out and it comes out like so. But if you hold down Alt before you drag it out, it's going to drag it out in a negative fashion like this. So it's going to appear that the cylinder there has its normals flipped. So you can come through and start holding Alt and dragging these out all over your surface of your model like this. And then the next time you redynamesh, it's going to punch out holes where those objects were. So you can use insert mesh objects by holding down Alt in this fashion to start generating holes. So that process one more time was just select any insert mesh brush. Make sure your model is in Dynamesh mode. Hold down Alt and drag it out. And drag out as many of these as you want. And then the next time that you redynamesh, it's going to punch holes into your surface. 
So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.